Welcome back to Dr. Clay Vita Gaming. Today in Heroes Alliance, I want to answer a question. I was asked, if you were going to purchase something, what would be a good buy? So, I'm not, I'm not saying you have to buy anything to be successful in the game. I'm not going to say that. However, to answer the question, there are certain things that I, that I generally get a hold of. And this is what I'm talking about. I always get Valkyrie's favor. Why do I get Valkyrie's favor? Because it allows me to speed up battles. I have infinite raid passes. Uh, if if you can think about it, you know, if you want to think about it that way, I mean, you can go here. You can click on Cascade. You can click on a piece of armor, and you go here. And as long as you have got it uh, in three stars you can hit the raid button and it's good you can do that all the time so basically when I do my energy task in the morning I go and I collect all in one I just hit raid all you know hit that raid button and so that is something that I generally get because it's easier now there's another thing that I look at I look at uh, the Valkyrie's gift I think is what it's called after you get Valkyrie's favor, there is this like four dollar um, special gift that pops up. I generally look at that because it's gonna give you some some energy and some some small things. Okay, now with that, what are some other types of things? Used to I would say Hero's Way, always. Uh, you know, if you were to ask me, you know, about the previous Hero's Way. That's what I would say. Uh, I would argue that there are some things in in the zero way that makes it worth it, even the basic package. Now, why? Because this two times energy game, you're, you're able to gain energy twice as fast. So that, to me, helps take care of energy bottles that you're going to spend to do the same thing. So it helps me to get my activity points up, um, collect energy, things of that nature. It helps me. Not saying you have to nor need to, but it, that is something I look to to get. Now, other things that you might want to look at. Sometimes skins go on sale. Do not buy any skin that you're not leveling hero up for. You know that that is a big a big thing. Don't don't get any skin that you're not currently leveling a, leveling a hero up for, because they'll eventually end up in an outland chest. So when you look at the outland chest, you have the ability to get prizes. Okay, and these grand prizes are going to be skins. And so you're able to get them there. Now, after they come out of the Outland chest, then you actually can go... Somebody I don't have all the skins for. You can go to skins, and you can go to unlock, and you can use a skin certificate, and you will be able to get this, the skin and some skin stones. Uh, I would not purchase them for 5,000 skin stones. I do not think that is a good use of that that resource. Now, that's me. You can do whatever you want to. I'm just asking a question, some things I, was, I look for, and that's one of them. Another thing to consider are events. Uh, any event that is coming up, you could consider getting things associated with that event. Now, if you look at this, like this event uh, slide, what it does is it allows you to give gifts to your guildmates. Uh, in this instance, you get brawl coins and skin stone chest. So you get all the bundle features, and everybody else gets a two on the right-hand side. But what I'm thinking of is something like this. Here we have artifact keys and bottled energy. If you look forward in the events coming up if you're looking at something where you can spend energy 
this might be something you're looking at to start gearing up to save up. You know, that that idea that you're going to put back to save up for that event. Now, again, it has to be worth it to you. So I'm not going to say this is a good buy and this is not a good buy on things like things like this because it's it's up to you. But I only look at things that that would help progress your characters you're currently building. If it won't help you, then don't look at it. You know, like this. There's some free ones, um, but the front. So you got to collect three panels, and now it's five dollars. You collect three more. So that would just be up to you. Is this worth it to you? Now, when you look at that, let's go back to it. You know, you got five bottled energy. Uh, again, if you got Hero's Way, that is actually like three days worth of savings, basically. You know, the emeralds, you can get that from... You can get some of those from the watching the videos in the theater. Um, the artifact essence, if you can buy that with hydro coins, the artifact coins you can get from artifact chests, intelligent skin stones, outland chests, rune spheres, doing a task, um, you know, or level uh, doing your dailies and through your guild activity, you're going to get rune stones. And so you have to think about it. Is is that worth it? Now, obviously, I I don't think so uh, because I haven't gotten it. So I mean, you look at it and say, okay, he didn't get that. So obviously, you can say that's not it. Now, you might feel that it works for you, but it doesn't work for what I'm playing through. So that that is what I gauge gauge things through. Um, you know, Titan skin stones. I mean, you get those for collecting Titanite, and with that, you're able to collect them twice in a dungeon uh, without, or the, the dungeon shop without spending emeralds. So those are things that I look at and consider um, whenever, you know, whenever somebody says, ask me questions, should I purchase this or that? If it doesn't help with your current game or your current strategy, the answer is always going to be, no, I wouldn't recommend it. But you're free to play however you want to play. Um, emeralds, unless it's a times four, no need to spend on it. Because emeralds are going to circle back and there'll always be a times four. Okay, so that's, again, that's my opinion. Everybody else has their own opinion. So you, you can choose and work through that. But I like to, if I'm going to, to look at resources and gaining resources... I want it to get it to that were, so it will help me do the best um, at my current strategy. Okay, and so that's the biggest hint I can and give to you, biggest tip. Again, if you want to go in and spend loads and loads, that's fine with me. And I mean, I'll just you know, we'll find a way to meet in the arena and we'll just find out if it worked. If you don't want any at all, that's fine with me. Um, you don't have to in order to play this game and enjoy the game um, to to get your you know get your your time spent in the game. You don't you don't have to, but if you are looking at some things, Valkyrie's favor is generally what I look at. Hero's Way is what I look at, and then that little gift that um, you get after you get Valkyrie's favor. Okay, what do you what do you guys think? What do you guys look at whenever you're looking to spend resources or spend monies to to get resources? What are the things that are most important to you? Uh, you can leave that down in the comment section. Again, the most important thing to me that has to answer the question: Does it help my current build strategy? And uh, you know that is the the guiding line because if you wanted to spend two three thousand a month, you could. Uh, and if that's what you want to do, more power to you. Um, not I, not I, not me. Um, if you like videos like this, like it. Uh, if you need some more, have more questions, any questions, you can leave it on this video and I will make another video uh, to go over it again. And until next time, we'll catch you in the arena.